Okay, my family, I have a message from our sister Deborah Waldron Fry. I am calling forth my warriors. Beloved, I am calling forth my warriors. I am calling forth my lion warriors. My anointing upon you is the anointing of the lion. The righteous are as bold as a lion, the lion of Judah. So do not weep, my child, but roar. Let your faith roar louder than your fear, and watch the enemy fall. Though you feel as if you are hanging on by a thread, that thread is faith in me, and I am the originator of that faith. It is a gift, and it shall not break, and you will not break, dear one. I will not let you fall. Though all of hell seems to be screaming around you, I have you by the hand. You are not alone, little one. You have the anointing to roar. Allow the Lion of Judah to roar through you. Step out of the doldrums and into my glorious presence. Out of Zion comes your deliverer. The Lion of Judah shall lay waste and expose every stronghold of Satan. And my lion warriors shall roar with my roar. And you will speak with my voice. And you will cause the enemy to flee in terror. And you shall be like your Savior, with fire in your eyes and a sword in your hand. Do not back down, my conquering one. You are alive in me. Your king has prevailed. The lamb is a lion. Doldrums is a spell of listlessness or despondency, a state or period of inactivity, stagnation, or slump. As one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to, prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as if, as if it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Revelation 5, 5 and 6. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Proverbs 28 and 1. A lion which is strongest among the beasts, and turneth not away for any. Proverbs 30 and 30. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat from God. Psalms 104, 21. They shall walk after the Lord. He shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the west. Hosea 11 and 10. And every one had four faces. The first face was the face of the cherub. The second face was the face of a man. The third face, the face of a lion. And the fourth, the face of an eagle, as it is written in Ezekiel 10 and 14. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He crouches, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion who dares rouse him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until Shiloh comes. And to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. Genesis 49, 9-10 Glory to God in the highest. As with every word, take this into your prayer closets, and ask the Holy Spirit of God for confirmation on this word. He is ready. He is getting ready to transform his warriors. He is getting ready to transform those who we know are going to go forth in faith, who will pull out the sword of truth and who will speak, who will speak his word. There is no fear in faith. He goes before us and he makes the crooked pathway straight. He has gone before us. And he is the victor. We shall hold his banner high and march in his name and proclaim the victory that is his already. In Jesus Christ's most glorious, glorious, glorious name. Glory to God in the highest for he is worthy. I pray all is going well with you, my family. I pray the blood of Jesus over this audio message and over any and all who listen to it. And I just heard the message of what's going on right now in um, the UK. And we need to pray for the UK. And we need to pray for the USA. And we need to pray for our brethren everywhere. It is getting darker as we speak. Our battle is a spiritual battle. Our enemies are not of flesh, but of spirit. 
and he has given us he has given he's equipped us to become more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Put on daily your armor of God and speak forth his words. Your prayers are a weapon. Use them as such. Take back your homes. Take back your marriages. Take back anything the enemy has stolen from you. Proclaim it. Name it and proclaim it. And do not let the enemy leave with what is yours. Take it back in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Glory to God in the highest. I love you all, my family. And I pray the blood of Jesus is over your homes, over your marriages, over your health, over your families, over your homes, over your places of work and worship, over your, your children's schools, and over your vehicles. We are in a war, and our battle is a spiritual battle. Our weapons are mighty. We have given power and authority to trample over the serpents and scorpions that come our way in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. And we have been given the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Our enemies will be trampled under our hill. We will bruise their heads and they will bruise our hill. Glory to God in the highest. Amen, my family.